Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we got the Land Rover Defender 90 by Physia. Um, we got the Defender up there on the roll cage. It looks nice. We also on the rear have no spare tire because the spare tire that you can have doesn't match these. And for this one we went with the mud tires actually. So I'm interested to see how this does. It's got a little tiny bit more ground clearance but you guys know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Drop a sub on the channel. So do it. Alright, time to build and customize Defender 90 by Fizia. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but... Engine, we got the special 500k engine, gearbox, Seek 612, H speed 6. Suspension, we got stock or raised, we're going to go with raised. Tires, we got 31 HS1, 2, and 3. We got all terrain, 31 AS1, 2, and 3, all the way up to 33. Yeah. Off-road, we got 31-inch Land Rover tires, which are stock. We got 31 OS1, 33 OS1, and then we got 33 Continental EM Master E3 L3, 33 Goodyear RT3B, 33 OHD2. Um, mud tires, we got 31 and 33 MS1, 33 UI tire mud tractor. We've got 33 TMHS1. We've got 33 MSH1, 33 MSH2, and 3 and 4, and then we also got the... 33 K7M Super Heavy Mud Tires. And then we've got 33 Super Heavy Mud Tires, which is the double front and rear. But I do like the Super Heavy Mud Tires on this rig. It suits it a little bit better, so that's what we're going to go with. Winch, we got Stock Heavy, Extended Heavy, Advanced Heavy, and Twin Motor Heavy. We're going to go with Advanced Heavy. Diff Lock, we got Engageable Spare Wheel. We'll throw that on. Actually, we're going to keep the Spare Wheel off because I don't think we need it. Snorkel, Short round cap front facing i like the front facing frame add-ons we got trunk repair supplies your bumper we got chrome tow loops or stock i like the tow loops front bumper we got fog lighter hunter or stock i like the hunter miscellaneous we got external roll cage we've got angled with beacons or dark downward sun visor i like the angled with beacons rims we got msh rims one and then color options we got some great options here i like the sand color I like it a lot, but I also like the yellow, so we're gonna go with the yellow, guys. Let's pull it out, see what it could do. All right, let's start this bad boy up. There we go. And now we'll cruise gauges work, engine sound is reasonable, mirrors work. The automatic gear doesn't seem crazy, not too tall, not too short so far, anyways. The scale on the truck seems a little small, but it's probably because I'm used to driving like monster trucks, basically. I think we all are. The animations of the mud flaps is nice, I like that. The lights are bright. We're looking good so far. I'm curious to see with these mud tires how we fare out down here. We couldn't even make it to the warehouse with the other tires. That was really that was tough. And we're just in two-wheel drive right now. Suspension play and movement is nice and reasonable. So let's see if we could crawl this without causing any damage. Put the all-wheel drive on, put, in, put it in a low gear. Okay. We almost made it. We did better than last time, so let's go camp for something. And we'll pop it back into two-wheel drive here now. You can tell these mud tires are chewing up a little bit. But so far, so good. And we just sunk instantly. We're not doing too hot with the Defender so far, but let's put the whole drive on put it in a low. The mud tires in a low. We're moving a little bit. We might be in some old ruts and that might be causing us a little bit of grief. Low plus, we're chewing through just enough to push through, I think. Now we're starting to dig, actually. These rocks are really going to hold us up. rocks now. Let's see if I can back us out of this. Alright, we just got a feather that's really light. We're going to winch a little bit. So, even 
even with the Defender 90 with the setup we're struggling, even with these mud tires, this is not easy, guys. Let's hit the other trail, see how we do. That's really all we can do because this has been a little bit of a struggle. sounds are nice. I like that little bit of droning in the exhaust sound. The steering is pretty, pretty balanced. This is nice. This is pretty smooth. Turn on the lights. It's starting to get dark here. bad in the mud which a lot of automatics kind of keep going first to second first to second second to first um, and it becomes a little challenging but this seems like it's uh, it's handling pretty good and that's it guys you know what to do drop a like on the video drop a sub on the channel we're gonna keep the defenders here the defender twins um, you never know when we might need to call on them. But you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Drop a sub on the channel, guys. We'll catch you with the next one.